So, like, an absolute tool, when Polarium released Whirlin Frost King as a champion that you could get from the Battle Pass, it was actually the first season of Battle Pass, way back in, like, 2020, I think it was February, uh, they sold him, basically, for 100 bucks. So if you were a tool, like me, you paid 100 bucks and you instantly got Whirlin Frost King. At the time, I was like, well, I don't really have any champions, and he looks really cool. I didn't really have any Void Legos. My whole thought was, you know, one, he looks cool. He looks like the Lich, the Lich King from, uh, uh, what do you call it, from World of Warcraft. And um, I wanted a Void le Legendary Champion. I didn't really have any at the time. I don't, I don't think I had any. Uh, maybe Vizix, uh, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I was like, I'm going to put him in my team. He looks pretty cool. Why not? His A1 had a freeze, 50% chance. You can bump that up with Sniper, um, and if the Freeze lands, you get a Perfect Veil. If you don't, if it doesn't land, you get a Veil. Uh, perfect Veil decreases or gives you a damage mitigation by 15%. Veil gives you a 7.5% damage mitigation. The A2 was an AOE, 100% chance of placing decreased damage. Obviously, it decreases the amount of crit damage um, that you're hit by whenever somebody does crit. Decrease accuracy, which has its uses. I think it's better. It's it's more so useful for newer players because I don't think that newer players or like mid game players are always going to have the ability to build their champions with enough resistance. And by decreasing the accuracy of your opponents, you can make it so that you could focus your um, stats into other areas other than resistance. So decreased accuracy does have some play, but I'm not going to say it's like the best thing ever. So this combination at the time seemed pr pretty cool because this wasn't common, but in retrospect, about four years later, I personally don't use this too much, but you let me know if there's an area in the game or if you're one of those people that uses the hell out of a decreased crit damage or decreased accuracy. Also places increased crit damage, nothing wrong with that, 30% on all allies for two turns. This is on a three turn cooldown. These debuffs cannot be resisted, you do not need to build Whirlin Frost King with accuracy. The A3 gives you strengthen and increase defense. I'm more so of a fan of strengthen, I remember I did a community post that was like what's better, strengthen or increase defense. This is on a three turn cooldown. Flat out, more people were saying Strengthen because there is a flat damage mitigation uh, when you have Strengthen over increased defense, which increases um, your specific champions, each specific champion defense by 60%. I think it's of their base HP or base defense. So like World and Frost King's base defense would be like um, 1233. It's 60% of that versus somebody else like Rodos. For an example, who's got a base defense of 1266, so that would be 60% of that. Or, I guess a different example would be, are, they, are they all 1266? Around that? Or, like, 60% uh, on a Razzlevarg helps, but it's not as much as it would be for 12. You guys get the point that I'm trying to explain. So, those are both really nice things to have, and he brings it for you guys all in one move here on a three turn cooldown. So, all that being said, oh, he gives a 40% boost, 40% boost to uh, defense in Doom Tower, which at the time was pretty cool, but I never really used him. Again, Whirlin Frost King and the whole team, he came out, so he came out on the battle pass, and you could also get the two bears, the uh, Ursine Ironhide or something like that. The two bears, you got Stagnite, which is arguably the best one out of the five that were available the five champions that were available to you in the battle pass uh stagnite was there of course Whirlin frost king and then the two white walkers from game of thrones um grave chill and frozen banshee obviously frozen banshee is phenomenal for clan boss and then stagnite is just a good all-around god tier epic champion but yeah so was he worth 100 bucks no flat out no he was not worth 100 bucks because for a Void Legendary, a defense-based champion, Void Legendary, you would expect that he could do a lot more for you, right? Because the standard from the community, that is, um, the standard that we set as a community for Void Legendary champions, due to the fact that Void shards are so difficult to obtain, 
is set pretty high, so if we see a Void Legendary, we want them to act like a fucking Void Legendary, right? Unfortunately, Wurlim is one of those Void Leg Legos that doesn't really uh, meet the standard. He's just okay. I see Wurlim Frost King having use, being used by people who are more in the beginning to mid game, maybe even late game, not really late game, probably beginning to mid game. People who don't have a big roster, people who don't have uh, too many options. He does, uh, I don't know if he hits hard, because back when I got him, I was like, I'm gonna build him as a support champion. So I built him as such. Today I built him in lethal gear. I wanted to see what it would be like if I built him out for damage. So that's what I'm going to test them out. And today I'm going to do, do some Arena. I'm going to do some Hydra. Because this skill set here seems like it would be used for Hydra, right? Decreased crit damage makes it so the Hydra heads don't hit hard, uh, hit too hard. Decreased accuracy so that they can't place the debuffs on you. Increase crit damage so we can do more damage. And then strength and increase defense so that we uh, are able to survive longer. So he seems like he does a little bit of both. His multipliers, I think, were I think uh, a four times multiplier for his A1 and A2. So, you know, we're going to test that out today. But yeah, so he's going to be used mostly by people who don't really have a big roster. Here are the masteries. As always, do not blindly copy masteries, but feel free and blindly copy masteries. These are old and outdated, right? So I gave him the T6 mastery off of offense for War Master for some bonus damage. You could take Sniper, it's not really going to help with this A2 because it's already at 100%, but his A1 is only at 50% for the freeze, 55% if you're really privy to that, but you could totally skip that and go for something else. Maybe even take this trick here for some counterattack masteries. Master Hexer is not going to help you with freeze, but it is going to help you with the decreased accuracy, decreased crit damage if you want. Do I think you need masteries for him? No, I think you're fine without it, but it really kind of just depends. I did book him out, but this was a decision that I made a long time ago when I really didn't have any other champions. Would I book him out today? No, I would not book out Wurlum Frost King today. Blessings. Brimstone. At a higher level, you could probably consider something else, but for now, I'm just going to stick with Brimstone. Let's go ahead and dive into Arena. I don't really have any team set up for him. So we're just going to go with a, a standard speed boost and decrease defense and weaken. Let's try to get Warlum Frost King in here. And we, he already brings the decrease, or he already brings increased defense. So I don't need to bring that. He's got the increased crit damage as well. Let's just test this out. Let's do a couple battles and see what we're about here. So we do our speed boost, we get the decreased defense, and the weekend. Now, we have two options here. We can increase crit damage. And so, here's the thing, right? He doesn't really... What I'm seeing right now is I probably should have brought somebody who does increase defense to see if he hits hard. Because right now he's built out in lethal gear. I built him like a nuker. So, I'm going to test, test out I'm gonna test out the A2 right now and see how much damage we do. I'm going to lower it. Then I'm going to come back into the same fight with somebody who places increased defense. So what are we doing? Okay, okay, 68, 38 over here. Let's leave the fight. And we'll try that again against Hemlock Lace. Somebody who brings increased defense. Let's go increased defense. We have Grand Oak Padraig, actually. Okay, that's pretty nice. We'll do that. So Podrick is going to automatically give increased defense right here. Let's just do a speed boost. Um, he gets an extra turn. He's in Relentless. We're going to do that. Now we're going to place the decreased defense and the weaken. All right, now we're going to check it. Let's see his A2 damage. We're looking at 110, actually off of Martyr. Martyr is a defense-based champion. Look at that. We're not really receiving too much damage. Granted, this is a guy at level 68. He does not have the type of gear that I have, so obviously going up against somebody at level 69, sorry, um, is going to present different results. Let's go up against somebody who's more around our le level. Guy Richie, let's avoid 
Anybody with Tormin? Here we go. We'll just try this one right here. Okay, so boom, speed boost, or turn meter boost, sorry, and increase speed, decrease defense, and weaken. Let's check the A2 again. Let's slow it down here. Okay, so we got 58, 58. I think that was like 60 over here. Let's do this. And I think we're going to have the opportunity to check to check Whirl and Frost King's A1 as well. So let's hit him. Get him out of here. All right. Let's do that. So let's hit Arbiter and Whirl and Frost King's A1. Let's check it. Let's slow it down here. We're looking at... 56 so he's hitting somewhere between what i'm seeing mostly 50 i think on the high end we saw 110 let's do one more just to see who's level 100 100 right here uh yeah why not so we're doing speed boost grand oak Padrick is going to hit that a3 decrease defense and the weekend stone skin sun wukong interesting Got the fears up on everybody. Luckily, we have Lydia. Now let's check the A2. Oh, we did not get the A2 off. Oof, okay. So we got Sun Wukong here. Alright, let's just run it on. Let's just throw it on auto. Whatever happens, happens. 92 on Rhonda. Let's finish this already. Come on. Alright. Pick a different fight, because that wasn't enough for me. Let's do... Let's avoid UDK. UDK, UDK. Here, Taurus. I think Taurus might be a good one to try out. Speed boost. S another Sun Wukong and Stone Skin? Interesting. Alright. Let's hit... Let's hit Duchess. Let's pay attention to Duchess over here. Hitting for 38 against Duchess. That is with increased defense. Let's go ahead and hit Arbiter. That was not with decreased defense and weak. Oh my god, serious. Okay. Let's actually hit the A1. Wow, 93 on the A1. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. It's very nice. Let's clear off these buffs, debuffs, I mean. Oh, we got hit with 102. Alright, she tried to bring her back, but our team came back. Okay, we took care of that, and let's hit up Taurus. Just get the continuous heals up. We can bring back Whirlim Frost King. Speed boost. Let's try to get our strength up. Boost again. And we're going to hit Taurus. Taurus is the biggest threat here. Oh, here, perfect. Let's get the A2, decrease that. And let's see here. Let's just hit the A2. Against Taurus, we got 30k in. We got 30k off of Taurus, on Taurus. Hit the A1. Let's boost up. We got the increase. Oh, and he gets stolen. It gets stolen. All right, let's take care. Let's just get rid of Taurus. So we hit him for 13. That was without any buffs. Uh-oh. Are we, are we about to get SWK'd? Getting SWK'd here. He's really kicking our arse. Get the fear on him. Wow, really? Hold up. Let's just try to keep fearing him. You gotta be shitting me, dude. Hold on. I can't let that go. Hmm... Let's bring... Nah, F it, I'm just gonna do it what I the, the way I normally do things, because uh, that's messed up. I think I could have won that if Whirlim Frost King was probably faster. Damn, this, this Sun Wukong. I'm starting to see a lot of Sun Wukongs now in Stone Skin. That's interesting. You would think that they're... Because it's not... I don't know. Maybe I'm out of the game. But I don't really... Uh, 
I've never really seen Sun Wukong in Stone Skin, but I just saw two back to back. I do have one key available. I'm not gonna run an entire um, thing. I'm just gonna do like 20 rounds and we'll see what we can come up with with whomever is left over, honestly. And we don't have too many people around. Let's go ahead and of course put Whirlim in here. Let's do... What should we put? Throw a Duchess in for sure. Get the Provoke Uko. I think that's Uko and Provoke. Oh, it's that's right. You gotta type in Mighty Uko. Oh, that one's not even geared. Never mind. Alright, we're not taking that. Molly? I know Molly's gotta be... Alright, Molly's there and we do want somebody with decreased defense and weaken again this is not like the best setup but um you know it's 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 whatever and what are we missing here we'll just throw in actually let's throw in one rock there we go all right let's just throw it on auto we'll do 20 rounds kind of see what happens all right, so all of our debuffs are on, and we're hitting for 100k. I think I saw 100k all around. That's with Whirlwind Frost King. Gonna want to focus on this head here. And that was 173k from Whirlwind Frost King. That was interesting. Maybe he does smack. Yeah, that was impressive. I was not expecting him to... Now, you gotta understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> this was a guy who I, I... I thought was complete trash, and I never thought to build him as a nuker. In retrospect, maybe I should have built him with more damage. Oh, I didn't show you guys his stats. I, I forgot to show you guys his stats. My bad. Let me show you guys his stats after this. What is that, 100? Over 100? Yeah, but with the proper setup, I think he could actually smack really hard. I'm surprised so far. But then again, I mean, look, Tuan Rock just hit two, did 200. Oh, wow, he did 400. Whirlum just did 400 plus on his A1. Really? So, because here's, here's what I was thinking, right? I was like, um... I'm going to build him as a support champion, but I never thought to build him as a damage dealer. But he kind of does both, right? He's kind of a hybrid build. I'm not particularly a fan of the way his skills are set up. Because it's... Okay, so now without the decreased defense and weekend, he was hitting for mostly around 50k, I think. Uh, what was I trying to say? God, I always, I always get sidetracked. His A3 doesn't, like, roll into his A2 or his... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, his moves don't roll well into each other, right? His increased crit damage is not ideal. Because ideally, you would have all of his buffs, and then you would have him smack. But that's not the case here. The case with Whirlim is you kind of have to take a turn or two to really buff him up before you can get him to smack if you're trying to build him like a damage dealer. But he seems to be doing pretty well. Look at this. 200 plus on the headless heads. On the, uh, the headless, uh, what do you call it? Hydra heads? Oh, okay, so that was... Let's, let's, um, let's click end battle. Let's see how much he did. And he did 2 million in about 20, 21 turns, which is respectable. All right? Now, I'm not trying to ha be jaded here. I'm used to Trunda, Taurus, and Rhodos, and Rathalos, and, you know, SWK doing their damage but you know for somebody who i didn't really like put my best gear on i just put like okay gear on him i'd say he did pretty well uh, and i'm not i'm not too mad about him i thought he was going to be like sir nick i i came into this thinking he was going to be like sir nick because i did a review i did a champion guide on sir nick and i was like dude he's outdated because sir nick is just you know he was here in like what 2018 2019 and they never touched him again Something like that. And I tried to build him like a damage dealer. And he just wasn't hitting. 
but Whirling Frost King does have an application here. His stats are about 50k HP, almost 5500 defense, 200 speed, of course crit capped, and then 200, almost 260 crit damage. You don't have to build him with accuracy. Resistance is nice. How would I improve this? I would drop the attack, probably drop some HP, put more if you're if you're gonna build him like a damage dealer, right? Which I highly recommend to build him like a damage dealer. Like, he does bring these things, but you could kind of use him in the same sense that um, Sun Wukong can be a hybrid champion, right? He can do damage and he can also place debuffs and buff strip and all that. So, I'm not saying Whirl and Frost King is exactly like SWK. I think SWK is leagues ahead of Whirl and Frost King, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. I would pump up more into his defense so that he could smack harder. I would make him go faster, minimum of 220 speed. Still keep him crit, uh, crit capped and then try to pump more into crit damage. Let me know what you guys think.